Hi everyone, in this video it's Andy Morris from SciCamp Europe and this time I am on the Curve GT80. You've probably seen a preview video, you've seen me ski the GT85 refined, the low carbon emission ski. I then skied the GT85 and now today I am on the Curve GT80. There is also a 76 underfoot GT, although I don't have that ski. While we're on that point, Thanks to Fisher for supplying all of the skis. I don't get paid to make these videos, but I do get to ski on the skis before I send them back to Fisher's headquarters. So as we've said, the, the new range replacing the 21-22 range of RC1 GT skis. These are a very different ski, new build, new engineering, some new components in some of the skis. On piece versatility, um, your E triple radius, and the new chop sheet, top sheet with the geometrical design, which they say is going to um, slow down the wearing process, make them a little bit more durable on, on the top sheet. Not so much uh, scratching uh, will be evident. Great, great on hard packed piece and soft. We are definitely skiing on soft piece today. As you can see in this footage of me skiing on the piece and off the piece. There you go folks, you've seen me skiing on the skis. The ski is extremely playful, it's very light on the foot. Um, it is a 173 with a 14 meter radius that I'm skiing, but compared to the GT85, it's a lot, a lot um, lighter. Um, it's 2000 grams um, at a 173. Uh, I think the other one was 2380. I think that's right, we can look back at the other video. Your, your, your sizes on this, the tip is 131, underfoot is 80, tail is 113. So say a 14.5 meter radius, sorry I said 14. Different lengths this is available in, there's a 159, a 166, a 173 and a 180. So slightly shorter than the, uh, the other ones. Um, they say like all of them, able to handle an aggressive skier. Yeah, I don't think you have to be that aggressive to ski this ski. It's very light, it's very playful, it moves extremely easy. I think that's partially because I'm on a 173 as well. Um, very smooth and it has got good grip. I, I have to say I've not skied this on firm or ice, I've only skied it in the soft. Um, so I can't really comment about the grip, but if it's anything like the other skis that I have skied on the ice, then the grip is going to be good. Also, I was very impressed with the, the refined and the 85 that was next to no vibration when you went fast in a shoes. Um, the skier for this one is a level six to nine. So they're saying this is actually for a slightly better skier than the GT85. And again, the split is 70% on piece, 30% off piece. I have to say out of the three that I've tried so far, this one is definitely the most playful and it's the most fun um, because it's so easy to carve. Um, so if you're looking for a fun, easy carving ski, then the Curve GT80 could be the ski for you. Um, we're going to go and do a little bit more skiing. See you, bye.
So you've just seen me skiing the Fisher The Curve GT80. I have to say, out of the skis I've tested, the Redefine, the GT85 and the GT80, this is my favorite so far. Now I have to be very honest with you, when I first received the GT skis, I actually thought that all of them were gonna be the same build and the same material, um, just in different widths. However, that's not the case. The GT85 is a different ski. Yes, it is wider than the 80 and then the 76 that's in the range, but it's also a different build and it's got different components in the ski. The Curve GT80, I found this very, very easy to ski, a very enjoyable, very playful ski, but with all of the edge grip that you would need. And again, no vibration at speed. It could handle the off-piste as well. Even though this is a predominantly piste performance ski, this ski did not have a problem in the variable conditions that you saw me skiing. It also excelled at short, short calf turns. It was fantastic. What I would say though is, it is it's a short ski. It's a 173 I'm skiing. I would also be interested to ski the longer version, which I think is the 180 or the 182, just to see if I can do as much on that as I can on this. I'm pretty sure I could, but it would be interesting. But as I say, the, the, the build is very, very different. The AT has a different build underfoot. The titanium that you can see stretches a little bit further than on the GT85. And also the shape of the sidewall is different. So most definitely they are different skis. Also the core on this one is slightly different to the core on the GT85. But you saw me skiing long turns, short turns, on the piste, off the piste. The off piste was quite slushy. I didn't get to ski this on any hard packed ice the days prior to filming the reviews, but I think given the Redefine and the GT85, which we've also got videos on the channel for, this is also gonna have that exceptional edge grip that you would expect. The e triple radius is fantastic. You can do anything on this ski, but I really did enjoy the feeling you got from a short turn and a short carved turn. If you are looking to short turn the mountain all day long, then this is a ski to seriously consider. It's the Curve GT 80 underfoot. Again, a little bit wider than what I would normally ski, but this is an extremely fun ski. Easy, light underfoot. It is aimed at a slightly more advanced skier than the GT 85, which goes, I think it was from six to nine. This goes from seven to nine on the scale, but very, very playful, very, very agile, does everything they say it will do. And yeah, go give it a try when you get a chance. Should be in the shops on the run up to the start of the 25 winter season. It's Andy for Snow Camp Short saying, if you've liked this, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have got over 500 videos covering many different topics, but it's bye for now from Caprun here in Austria. Ciao.